Hi, my name is Hilton Hammond. I'm the product marketing manager for Flute Corporation. The product lines I manage are the Flute Portable Oscilloscopes, the 190 series uh, scope meter. Looking at the oscilloscope from a functional standpoint, again, we have the primary operating modes as being an oscilloscope, a meter, and a recorder. The advantage of a four-channel scope meter now gives the user four scope traces he can look at simultaneously. The advantage of four traces on screen is he can look at three phase signals or three axis signals in an automation control system, for example, looking at the input, the output, and the feedback loop simultaneously. In the four-channel mode, technicians and engineers are always looking at comparing and contrasting waveforms, looking at amplitude differences, looking at timing differences between the waveforms. So four channel provides a huge advantage in the industrial world. Stepping on down to the meter functionality, here again we've got the four isolated inputs. A user can define any combination of four on-screen measurements. So you could have a volts DC measurement on channel one, a frequency measurement on channel two, plus a phase relationship or a rise of full time measurement on any of the other combination channels. Again, the advantage is now you can precisely compare and contrast critical waveform points against one channel against the other. Stepping on down to the recorder modes, here the recorder is a useful tool in tracking down intermittent fluctuations or intermittent events in signals. One of the most difficult to find problems is the event of a transient a random transient occurs, how do you capture it to diagnose what the root cause is? Here we've got two recording modes, one being a scope recording mode, the second being a meter measurement recording mode called trend plot. These two modes will record data for up to 22 days worth of information. So looking for that once off random event, you can now set up the scope, go away, come back, and look through the record length for any particular event. If you look at the right hand side of the oscilloscope, here we've got some more analytical modes. Cursors, vertical and horizontal cursors, so you can measure very specific points on the waveform. Things like rise time, phase or time relationships between two or three or four channels. We can also zoom in on the waveform. If by chance you see something of interest in the waveform, you want to look at it in more detail, you press the zoom button, hit the up and down arrow keys to change the zoom factor, and you can zoom in on any particular detail. In this particular version, we've now enhanced the capability by allowing the user to zoom in while the waveform is updating real time. So there's a real time zoom capability. In the past, we had to freeze frame, then zoom in on a static waveform. Now we can do it dynamically real time. The last function is a replay mode. What happens in a replay mode is the oscilloscope is continuously acquiring and updating waveform traces to the display. At each update to the waveform display, internally the oscilloscope is capturing that image and storing it to a separate memory location. The replay mode has the ability to record up to 100 screens on a first in first out basis. So what happens is if you're troubleshooting a device, say for example you suspect there's an intermittent problem and you're tapping on the device trying to force an error, what's going to happen is if you see a glitch or anomaly that occurs on screen, typically what happens in a DSO by the time you freeze it the screen's already updated only to lose that information. With the scope meter you can hit the replay button much like you would a digital TiVo recorder. Now you can go back in time, look for the anomaly, analyze it and and determine if it's the root cause of the problem. That provides us with a very quick overview of the new 190 series scope meter, each of the key operating modes, the scope, the meter, the recorder, the cursors, the zoom, and the 100 screen replay mode. If you need any further information, please contact your T-Equipment product specialist.